Finally, you guys know I'm loyal to the Empire. <laughs> so, <laughs> so, because, uh, yippee ki yay, motherfuckers. Okay, so, uh, episode two, Attack of the Clones. Uh, Hayden Christensen, this is his big breakout role. Wow, he should just stay out. Uh, he didn't really break out, he more like <laughs> broke his ass in the fucking terrible wooden acting that he did. Okay, so Attack of the Clones is basically, they introduced the clone army, they introduced the stormtrooper that we come to know. Uh, it, you see Jango Fett, Boba Fett's dad is in this. Uh, Hugh McGregor is way better as Obi-Wan. Obi-Wan now is more of a wise and Jedi. He's taken Anakin as his apprentice. Uh, Portman is a better actress. She's gotten a little bit better. The thing about Hayden Christensen is, um, he just, <clears throat> I don't think he's that terrible of an actor. I really don't. I don't mind him. I just think, again, dialogue was shit. He was shit with the dialogue, and I don't know who to blame. I don't know if it's Lucas, or if I don't know if it's Hayden Christensen. I don't know if it's a combination of both. It's probably both. But I will say one thing I do like about this movie. I like the fact that they do show the dark side coming more and more out of Hayden Christensen. I think he portrays that pretty well. Like, when he goes to, and spoiler alert, I know, you know, I, I want to say this, because, you know, some people, for some reason, haven't seen it. Dude, I found, actually found somebody online that had never seen Empire Strikes Back and didn't know that Darth Vader was. It was fucking awesome, though. I would love to watch somebody that had never seen it. But, okay, spoiler alert, when he goes back and Shimmy Skywalker dies, you also get introduced to you. You also get Joe Edgerton, Aunt Beru, and Uncle Owen. That's cool. I like that. You see Tatooine, and he goes fucking gangster. You see fucking he go wild. He kills sand people, and he does that whole scene. Where he's like, I hate them. I slaughter them like animals. And he goes, I love that scene. That scene was fucking that powerful. one scene. I'll give you. Yeah, yeah I that love that scene because then you, and you even hear the music. It kind of slowly plays in that dum dum because you know it's coming. You know it's coming. But then after that, it just it's terrible. You know, he's like, you know, the, the whole exchange sometimes between you and McGregor and Hayden Christian, like when they're flying through Coruscant chasing the bounty hunter down, uh, and he's like. Uh, he's like, what took you so long? And he was like, well, you know, Master, I, I couldn't really find a speeder that I liked, and, and there's so many. I'm like, they were trying to make a joke, and it was just terrible. It was just terrible written. This whole movie, to me, is, is I, I, I can line it up for you in a nutshell right now. Here's a nut. Nuts? Shell. I don't want For nuts. you. No, I can put this whole movie in a box right now. To me, what this movie is, this movie is uh, poorly casted Hayden Christensen as an older Anakin becoming Darth Vader, which makes no sense. If you told me anybody on, on Earth that looked like he did and acted like he did at that time was Darth Vader as a teenager, which I know the dark side changed. Yeah. I'm not saying that, but I thought that was the worst casting choice ever, which he was better than the third one, but we'll get to that. Uh, to me, this whole movie in a box is... Uh, a poorly casted teenage Darth Vader with a whiny ass Justin Bieber is like it's not fair yeah, that was going true. on and on and on and then a whole bunch of bullshit a whole bunch of CGI bullshit a whole bunch of forced in where we gotta make a movie bullshit ultimately ending in a really cool fucking lightsaber battle between Yoda and a shitty villain oh god Count, Count, Poo -poo. Count, Poo -poo. Count Poo Poo yeah Count Poo Poo yeah that's no doubt he's Count Poo Poo like that was one of the shittiest decisions I've ever seen as a villain like he was terrible and they even tried to make it more like cool because he's like I wish quite was here because he would understand. They try to make that whole thing happen because he was the old master of Qui-Gon Jinn. It just was fucking, you know, and then you remember it was like, Qui-Gon Jinn would never join you. Like, it was just, it, like, it was just, like, he, I, and Christopher Lee is a, was a great actor. I love Christopher Lee. I think he was awesome. But that, that role that, that he had, that, that was a poorly boring. designed character. He was boring. His, what, what the fuck was the account of? Where was his land? Like, <laughs> like, I don't even know what that whole deal was. Like, I just thought it was a poorly cast character. Not, not cast, I think it was a poorly written character. And they didn't even, I, why, like, why couldn't we just have Darth Maul back? Mm -hmm. Like, you didn't have to kill him, and you didn't have to bring this old-ass fucking man with, with, his lightsaber was weird, too. It was, like, all bent. It looked like a dildo. Like, <laughs> you know, he was like, your lightsaber, what are you dog? thinking over? <laughs> That's the way I roll. It's crooked to the left. No, I'll give you that, and then we get Samuel Jackson for a minute in this. Uh, some of the stuff, like, when they show the actual council talking and stuff, that was kind of neat to yeah. see them, like, fighting against, like, the, the whole becoming of what's supposed to well, be. we didn't mention that in the, in the first one, either. Yeah. But, uh, but the, the, the Jedi council scenes are cool. I, I do like Jedi that's Jackson. okay. And, and another thing that's okay is Ewan McGregor uh, is better. He's got a beard. He looks a little bit better in this one. He feels he's, he's he actually, more natural and not so kiddish. In I this mean, one. he doesn't bring the Alec Guinness that we all know and love from the original trilogy or right. Obi Wan Kenobi, but he does a well enough job. Like it's passable. Like you can definitely say I can see if Alec Guinness was a younger guy playing another younger Obi Wan. You can also say, even though I really do love Ewan McGregor in these movies, you can also make a case that he was also miscast because his character was supposed to be this. We need to do everything by the book, kind of like I'm late. I want to. I want to do everything the right. Way I'm not. I don't want to go rogue at all. Kind of laid back kind of guy. And you, McGregor, is more of like a rebel type guy. Mm -hmm. Like he's more fit for that kind of. Rebel. That's why. But that's why they they chose that. I think because the whole idea behind Obi Wan training Anakin was that if Liam Neeson, Qui Gon Jinn had trained Anakin, it never he would have never fallen because Qui Gon was also a rebel in his own way. But he was able to temper. Yeah. And because Obi Wan was a rebel as well, but he didn't really know how to instruct Anakin not to fall. And I was like, speaking of miscast, like, imagine this. Fucking spin this, your Darth Vader helmet. What about this? What if they had taken Hayden Christian completely out, right? 
And they had taken Hugh McGregor that he was in episode one and made him Anakin Skywalker in the second one. That would be better. Uh, I, I think that I think anybody honestly, but honestly, anybody would have been better than him. Yeah, I, I, I feel bad for the guy because I know everybody, and I was excited for it too because a Mark Hamill was really a nobody either, and they cast him as Luke Skywalker, and I was like, okay, I don't know this guy, but he kind of has a look about him that maybe they can bring. And was, Lucas just has this thing for baby face people. Like he has this thing. Like like we'll get to Luke later, but he has this thing for baby face, like innocent looking people. And I, and I get that he was supposed to be like a good guy that got turned because of all the bad shit that happened to him. But Hayden Christensen was so bitchy and whiny. Like I just I could not stand not it. Just that he was a teeny bopper. Like he should have been on the co cover of fucking Tiger Beat, not playing fucking Darth Vader as a teenager. And the whole thing with him, What's Tiger Beat, <laughs> <laughs> I don't even know what that JTT. Is. Oh, oh. <laughs> and the whole thing with him and Padme, like it was it was really. I, I was just saying it was fucking. Rape. Oh, he was rapey, dude. dude. Shit, when I, let me, for everyone who's growing up, if you're younger and you're watching this, let me tell you something. If you're dating and you're just getting in the game, don't listen to these movies. If a girl ever looks at you and says the words, because you're making me uncomfortable, back the fuck away, you have lost that Because date. the next thing's gonna happen is she's gonna reach your purse and mace your shit. Yeah, and you like, lost. Like, you know what? The thing is, what, that was one of the worst because the ro it was supposed to be this intense romance and you could just feel that Lucas just wanted this thing fucking mashed together. He's like, I don't care what I have to do. We're gonna mash this love scene in there. And it was just, it literally felt like the guy had stalked her down to an alley and was like, we gonna have sex. Yeah. Like, it, it, like when he was staring at her, and it was supposed to be like, you know what, when they when they shot scenes of Anakin staring at her, and it was supposed to be this intense, like, romantic thing, it just, it felt, like you said, rapey, but it also, it just felt like a stalker vibe. Like, I didn't see any romance. Yeah. And I felt bad for, I felt bad for that woman. I was like, Jesus Christ. You, like, I, and he was like, and just some of the things he said was creepy because he came off creeptastic. Because when Obi Wan was like, "Why'd she shut the monitors off?" and then he was like, "I didn't. I don't think she liked the idea of me watching." I'm like, the way you just no said shit, that, Sherlock. The way that you said that, it kind of, you know, probably because it sounds like you're gonna strip her skin off and use it for beef jerky later on. <laughs> like, it's like, that's what it sounds like. You see him dancing around in his general. I oh, fuck me. Yeah, he just looked like I was like, God damn. And it's like I, again, I I don't know where Lucas got the inspiration to write it in like that way because it was fucking. Creepy. I, I don't. And boring. And the, the whole movie's fucking boring. And then you go, when you finally get to the action scenes, you've got this video game ish, like, we're in the middle of this giant factory, like, stamping things and oh, doing God, stuff. Yeah. And it's like, what the fuck? Not playing Alvin and Chipmunks on the NES where you've got to, like, get around. I, it was terrible. Not to mention the fact that they really fucking killed 3PO in this. Like, I love 3PO. I love Anthony. I think he was an, I think the guy's an amazing actor. I'm right, though. His name's Anthony Daniels, isn't it? I think it's Anthony Daniels. If I'm wrong, I'll fucking get attacked for it. But I think it's Anthony Daniels. As C three PO. Um, anyway, that guy, uh, they like well, you know they did like these they try to do these cute little puns about like you know when R two like grabs his head and you know he's pulling and goes what a drag and he goes I'm quite beside myself you, you know I'm talking about when R two like you know is pulling his head and he's trying to put his body his head back on his body he's like I'm quite beside myself or what a drag when he's dragging his head through the yeah. desert or then he puts their head he puts his head on the other row and he goes I'm so confused yeah. like it was just like Jesus Christ bro I, it's supposed to be don't fucking do what you're doing you're just making C3PO even more C3PO is a joke kind of in a way but in a fun way yeah. he's not meant to be a, a freaking slapstick comedy guy all the time yeah. they just oh, they and then they charge our base like a fucking like senator oh god I'd have shot that fucker he'd been assassinated fuck? and not, like you said the beginning scene where he goes there and he's like where is she I'm gonna take care of her and I, he was already creepy to begin with when they go to meet her for the first time I'm glad, then, but I am glad that Hugh McGregor's Obi-Wan fucking told him he was, yeah, like, he was like know your place yeah, he's, like, he's like you gotta know girl yeah <laughs> but then that and that one scene started off badass but that thing sneaks in and then uh, Hugh McGregor jumps out of the window and then but right then like it turned into a fucking it was like a golden eye times a thousand like way too unbelievable like no matter what happens because we're Jedi's even though you left 10 minutes earlier than me and you're going on a super fast fucking speeder uh, at, at way up in the fucking air uh, when you fall I'm just gonna randomly be in the right spot to catch you well, that's, like they did that ten fucking times though I know they, they did make them more it, it felt like overpowered joke. it was terrible but I will, I will say I give it because they are they can use the force so he knew that he'd be there they can have this fin like, yeah. feeling and stuff but okay <clears throat> at the very end with the, with the um, dinosaur monster things that they fought yeah. it was just uh, God, it was like when does it end I don't I think I, they were trying to go back to the scene, like the, the feeling that you got when Luke Cage, when Luke Cage, <laughs> when, when Skywalker was trapped in yeah. uh, Jabba's thing and yeah, had to fight that they, monster, they that. and it was terrible. It was, it was awful. And not to mention that, not just that though. It's also the fact that when they go to Camino, you know, when Neil McGregor talking about the clone troopers. Yeah. I mean, it was good scenes between the guy who played Jango Fett and him. Like you kind of felt that, you know, he, he's like. 
they're the greatest warriors. He's like, curious. <laughs> like, yeah. you can just say, like, I'm going to whoop your ass later. I, I like yeah. that scene, but again, you know what? Some people will say, they say it's boring. They say it's just a fucking boring ass movie. I like that scene. Though. That scene was good, but they were saying the movie overall oh, was yeah, boring. Was boring. boring dialogue, yes. boring things, boring. Nothing was good. Uh, other than very few key moments, like I love, like I said, my favorite scene has got to be the Anakin Skywalker when he slaughters the sand people and that whole scene between him and Portman. Because you can tell that scene was acted well. <laughs> At the same time, it's like, wait, hold up, dude. Did, did you just, like, my wife loves me, right? Yeah. But if I came home and I was like, I killed some kids, <laughs> she'd be like, get the fuck out. Yeah, but they're, but they're saying people, they're supposed to be like, yeah. I, but I mean, did you, but he, I, thought, I liked it how he was walking like Thug, too. It's like, and not just the men, he goes, but the women and the children, too. <laughs> was like, I was like, you thug, bro. Yeah. You thug. And, but I like that scene. I think he was acting well. Uh, because you can see on Portman's face like this yeah. horror, and when he when he when he was like, "Someday I'll become the most powerful Jedi ever," like, I, and it sounded like a kid thing would say. Yeah. And he's supposed to be eighteen or nineteen. But I can get with that. I think he's twenty. Like, yeah. But but again, and I will say, but the whiny part of him, too much. Like I don't know. They, Mark Hamill's Luke Skywalker was whiny too, but that was almost okay kind of whiny. Yeah. This it's was just way too much. Yeah. So I, I ultimately, I give this I give this movie a five out of ten. It was badass to see Yoda fight. Terrible fucking villain. Mostly boring movie. The CGI got even worse, especially in the beginning scenes yeah. when they're flying around. Uh, it's a five out of ten for me. I, I, I this is the worst Star Wars movie. I'm kind of torn on this because I don't know what's worse. Like the Phantom Menace, I didn't. I just don't like Jake Lloyd. But again, Darth Maul. Does fucking give it a lot more. And I'm gonna Liam give Mason. and Liam Neeson. I'm okay. I'm, I'll say it's a little bit. I'm gonna give it a 6.0. That my rating for the first one 6.5. I'm gonna give this 6.0. I think that there are moments where Hayden Christian does pretty well in it. I think that there are moments that, that it could have been an amazing movie. I think that I love that you McGregor has grown as Obi Wan now, and you see that he's taking like more that. command of the role. Uh, and uh, of course, Frank Oz is Yoda and Mace Windu. That's all great and good. I like that they do the lightning uh, attack, and you see how Yoda fixes and you know changes that. That was cool as shit. He has a lightsaber, which is. I, but I mean, come on, he's a Jedi. I, I always thought was he, cool. Though. I know, but when I saw that Venus, it was like, oh my god, shit. Oh no! Like, I, like people freak the fuck out when he had it. It was, but he was, he's a ninja warrior, dude. Like, I would yeah, not fuck with Yoda. Badass. But that was cool. So there are moments like I liked it. So I'm gonna give it a six point. Overall, though, no, it's still weak. I, it was weak entry. In the books, moving on to the final of the shitty. Good. We watched a movie. Yeah. We watched.